Hi, I'm Talva Magruder, and I'm a Director of Sustainable Workplaces at General Motors. My team is responsible for bringing sustainable technology to life in GM's facilities. Electric cars and trucks are made in large factories. These factories use an incredible amount of energy to power things like lights, manufacturing equipment, heating and air conditioning units, and computers. And in most of the world, our electricity comes from natural gas and coal, which results in emissions that contribute to climate change. Now to put a car factory in perspective, did you know that our average vehicle plant is the size of 88 football fields? GM's facilities use an average of 7,500 gigawatts of electricity every single year. That's enough to power about 900,000 average U.S. homes. A vehicle manufacturing plant has an average of 65,000 light bulbs. That's why at General Motors, we're looking into renewable energy sources, such as solar and wind, to help power our facilities. Renewable energy does not emit emissions because it makes electricity from sun and wind. In fact, we're committed to sourcing 100% of our electricity from renewable sources by 2030 in the U.S. and by 2040 globally. This should help us realize our vision for a world of zero emissions when coupled with our commitment to an all-electric vehicle future. To see how this works, today we're going to do a little experiment that demonstrates the power of wind energy. So first, you want to cut out a six and a half inch by six and a half inch square. Make sure to ask your parents for help with the scissors. So we're going to just measure six and a half inches over and then draw a line six and a half inches up. And then we'll just draw another line make a nice square. We're going to cut this out. So next, mark the center of your square with your pencil. And then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut four lines and you're going to cut from the corner toward the center. Don't go all the way to the center. Stop a little more than an inch before you get to the center, like this. And do that on all four corners. Now, you're going to put holes in your paper. So hold it carefully. And once again, ask your parents for help with the scissors. You're going to carefully just touch the scissors to the paper and twist, 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 put a hole and you want your hole to be about the size of that small straw. So then you're going to put a circle in every other corner on this square. So every other corner, like this corner, and then this one, and then this one, and then this one. You have a total of five holes in your paper. Okay, now take the small straw and put it through the center hole. There you go. Like that. Now you're going to take each of the corners one at a time and place them over the small straw like this. Just take your time carefully. So it'll look like this. Okay, now you want to squeeze it together a little bit. And you want the distance between the front and the back of the windmill to be about one inch. Okay, and once you do that, you're going to use tape to make sure that it stays together. So take a small piece of tape, 
You can tape it over the front. You'll put tape in the front and the back. Now, grab your large cup and your large straw. You're going to cut the large straw so that it's the same width as the bottom of your cup. Take a pretty long piece of tape and just secure the straw to the bottom of the cup. Like so. Take your windmill, place the small straw through the large straw. Just like that. Now let's get your small cup right here. Small cup, we are going to put a small hole in each side of the small cup. The two holes should be right across from each other. So once again, take your scissors, ask your parents for help, please, and touch the scissors there, and slowly, slowly, slowly twist and go make a small hole through there. So once you have one hole in, there's one, you'll do the other one right across from it. So now we have a hole in each side, and now we're going to get our string, and what we're making is a little, like a little bucket handle for this cup. So now you have like a little bucket. It's got a little handle. See that? Okay. So we need one more piece of string. So tie the first end around the handle of the small cup. And then you can Tie the other side around the string, I mean around the small straw. And it doesn't have to be super long, so I'm just going to tie my knot um, with a long tail because the string does not have to be very long. We're just going to put some tape on here to hold everything in place. We'll use this clip to just put a little clip on the end to keep everything in place. Okay, there you go. So now you've got the bucket hanging from the windmill. Okay, so now that you've made your windmill and you have your bucket, we, we get to do the best part of the experiment, which is test it out. It's testing time. So what we want to do is see whether or not this windmill can lift this bucket. Can it do the work? So when you do that, just blow into your windmill. Make sure you're blowing into an open area that where it can catch the wind, one of the little curvy areas. So you blow. Whoa, look at that. Look at that, it lifted the cup. Okay, so now you will see that your windmill can lift the cup. Well, what if we put a penny in there? What if we do that? Is it strong enough to lift the cup? It is, it is. So now it lifted a penny. What if I add another penny? Can we still lift the cup? Ooh, that's harder. Oh, but we did it. I had to blow a little harder to make that happen. So my windmill can lift at least two pennies. And I wonder how many yours is going to be able to lift. I can't wait to hear how your experiment goes. Make sure to think about how there are many, many ways to harness energy from sustainable sources. You might even see a solar panel on a roof of a house or a windmill in a field. And who knows, maybe your car will be powered by sustainable energy one day. Have fun.